There's a lot of great things about living where I do in Ontario. And, and one of them is that Ontario is a hotbed for snowmobiling. Every year, you know, we do stories within Ontario, which is my backyard. We're gonna start in Halliburton and ride my home trails that I know like the back of my hand, and then travel all the way north to Pembroke and do it in a day. Whenever I do a trip in Ontario, I like to bring somebody along with me. Riding by yourself is never very much fun and not very safe. So I always find somebody different to bring with me on the trip. And, you know, we just finished doing the North America's Top Snowmobiler campaign and met so many awesome people from all over North America, really, but some really great people from our area. So through the course of meeting all kinds of interesting and new people through the North America's Top Snowmobiler campaign, um, one person stood out as being a perfect choice to do a trip like this, and that was Kevin Hanlon, because, I mean, he's such a turbo, excited, enthusiastic snowmobiler. It was a good choice, because Kevin's a cool dude, and he brought two guys with him who are just perfectly suited to, to this trip, rode just like we did. You know, Scott and Glenn were both great guys. I'd never met them before, but once we got on the trail and we started riding, it was like, yeah, this is the kind of group that I can ride with day in, day out, and uh, it all just went so well. We decided to base our trip out of the Pinestone Resort, just outside of Halliburton. Pinestone Resort is probably one of the best snowmobile destination places because it's so accessible. You can literally ride the trail right into the parking lot. It's groomed right into the parking lot. And the trip was gonna leave from there and head you know, towards Pembroke on some of my absolutely favorite trails. Where we're riding is the eastern region of the Ontario Highlands. And it's called that for a very good reason. The topography here is so up and down, there's tons of elevation changes and the trails follow that and you get a real sense of that as you ride. Absolutely passionate about the sport. It's something that I think about year round, not just when the snow falls. And it's it's something that really hypes me up for winter. It's funny, I don't, I don't think my wife really understood that until she started you know, spending a little bit more time with me on the snowmobile, but it's, it's a lifestyle for me. If I'm gonna take somebody to ride in my own area, or I'm gonna show them the best of what Halliburton has to offer. And so the first part of our trip, there was no other choice but to ride the Hydro Line from Halliburton to Whitney. And it goes right through Algonquin Park. It's the only motorized vehicle trail that goes through Algonquin Park. We were the first ones down this Hydro Line. It's, it's, it's a long ride and there wasn't a single track, just groomer tracks. It was so mint. It's like opening a jar and a can of peanut butter and sticking the knife in your first one. You just stir it all up for everybody else. That was us. I can honestly say that first part of this trip from Halliburton to Whitney was probably one of the best rides I've had in the past five or six years. When I got the call to come out and do this ride, it, it was the same feeling I got when Mark Lester called me uh, to tell me that I was one of the contenders for North America's top snowmobiler. I was like, heck yeah, like, why not? You know, I, I was bummed when I didn't win the contest that I wouldn't get out and ride with you guys, but I get to do it anyway, so it's great. And it turned out to be absolutely exceeded my expectations. Coming up to Halliburton, where I've never been, I expected, I heard there's a lot more snow up here. And the trails up here are just they're gorgeous. When we left in the morning, the weather was really overcast. We left early, so it was, it was you know, morning, it was dark but it was overcast and it was snowing hard when we were riding the rail line to Whitney. It was actually beautiful because the snow was kind of heavy and it was sticking to the trees up in the branches. It just, it was pulling the branches down over the trail, kind of looked like a tunnel while you were riding through. It was just an absolutely beautiful ride. In terms of signage, uh, it's actually something that I take a lot of notice of. I'm a treasurer of our club, but I'm, I'm actually a trail director as well. I have two roles and when you put signs in, you really notice when somebody else does a good job of signage. And uh, the signage up here is, is excellent. The trails are excellent, but that's, that's really part of an excellent trail system, is excellent signage. Kind of when we got further east of Whitney, we were headed towards Barry's Bay and then towards our lunch stop, the weather completely changed and it became sort of clear. The snow stopped. You could see on the trail that it had snowed where we were riding because there was a layer of fresh snow on top of a perfectly groomed trail. But uh, the weather was completely different. It was really, really nice. I mean, you're, you're experiencing the two best parts of snowmobiling, snowing and sun. By the time we got to our lunch stop, we were ready to eat and have a, a little break, but we were still excited. We'd had a great morning. There was still a lot of riding to do this afternoon though.
After a great morning ride and a great lunch stop, uh, it was time to finish our trip from Halliburton to Pembroke, and it was time to get back on the trail and put on some more miles. The second half of our day was actually the shortest half, so uh, from Deakin to Pembroke wasn't really a super far ride, but the trails here are, are quite different than what they are in Halliburton. We rode a lot of rail beds in the afternoon, and these rail beds are wide, they're super fast, they're really well maintained. Everywhere we rode, we had great trails. We, I, I don't know if we just hit the jackpot on this trip or not, but everything we rode was mint. Whenever I headed up to do this trip with uh, Luke, I, I took my snowmobile with me, but uh, I think he knew that I, I was really enthusiastic about the new Gen 4 Rev. So he surprised me. He actually brought one out, he unloaded it, and he, he handed me the keys to it, or the tether, I should say, and he said, here you go. Let's you know take it out, and take it and try it out, and tell me what you think. When it comes to a, a snowmobile, I, I'm a, I know what I want in a sled. I, I know how I want it to work, and I can't think of a single criticism yet from this sled about anything I don't like. The, the trails after lunch were were really great as well. The rail bed, the the B rail bed coming up is is a nice rail bed. It's not straight, so they've got some nice turns, and you can really enjoy driving through there. There's beautiful scenery. And then the, the loops the, that come off of it are, are, are beautiful as well. You get up, get up, drive through the trees, through the forest, and there's just so much to see. It's, uh, it's breathtaking. The trails on this end of the story aren't familiar to me. I haven't ridden out here more than once or twice in my life, uh, and I really like it. I gotta say, I like riding out here. It's a different experience than riding in Halliburton. The trails aren't quite as tight. Some of them are, most of them are a little more wide, a little more wide open, which suits us well. So it was nice, it was nice to have a difference. It's, and that's the thing about Ontario that's really cool is there's so many options when it comes to trails and, and you'll never ride the same trail twice, but everywhere you go has its own little kind of personality. And, and you know, to take a trip from one location to another and experience two so completely different personalities really makes for a unique experience that I, don't, I just don't know you can get anywhere else. One of the things that I love most about snowmobiling is riding with people and making friends and riding with old friends and making new acquaintances. That's, that's one of the best things about this sport is the camaraderie and, and the personalities. And this trip had loads of that as well. I mean, I met three new people that I never met before and made some new friends. But the more I ride in Ontario, the more I'm impressed with how the interconnectivity of the trails and the infrastructure is all just working together so well and is so seamless. I haven't seen that in very many other places and it makes this area the best area to ride in North America, I think. Although you can't access downtown Pembroke, whenever you uh, stay at the Holiday Inn or the Best Western, you, you have all of the amenities right there. There's a big stop across the street with lots of gas, lots of food, everything you really need. So essentially, you don't have to access the downtown section. And the trails are right there. You've got options. You can ride wherever you want from there. In this section of uh, Pembroke with the Holiday Inn, it was, it was really accessible. The gas is right there. Hotel is very accommodating. Even if you had to trailer up here, there's lots of parking if you have your trailer and truck. Another neat thing about Pembroke is that it's right on the Quebec border, essentially. It's right on the Ottawa River. So when you're in Pembroke, you're only a stone's throw from another province and a sort of a whole nother plethora of destinations that you can experience. They've even built a brand new bridge across the Ottawa River. It's not quite finished when we were here, so we didn't go ride on it because it wasn't open yet. But when it is, it's going to open up really interesting multi-day trips where you could leave, let's say, from Halliburton, ride to Pembroke in a day, and then ride up into Quebec for a couple days, back to Pembroke and back to Halliburton. You could put on a week's worth of ride and not hit the same trail twice. That might be the next story we have to do. If you enjoyed the video that you just saw, like it and then subscribe to our page for more great content from Snowtracks TV.